Hello my friends and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. In our last video we finished the base game and I have had a few days to process and I still, I liked the game. I liked the story, I liked the characters, I liked the setting, the gameplay was fine. My one complaint looking back at it is the ending and it's not the story ending of, you know, Booker and Elizabeth sacrificing themselves for the greater good. I'm okay with that. I'm, o I'm not okay with how fast it ended because I feel like that I as the player character learned that Booker would become Comstock and then agreed to be drowned by his children basically and then they all died or ceased to exist and then the game ended and I feel like that all took like 15 seconds <laughs> and that was my problem was that I had no time to process and then say goodbye and I feel like Booker would have wanted to take a moment to say goodbye to his kid who would never exist and say goodbye to the cruel world or something. I just, I feel like if it had been stretched out like a minute or a minute or two, just a little dialogue back and forth for you to have a moment as player character to let it sink in and realize, oh my gosh, we're all dying. That would have been a better ending because it's not like there could be an epilogue. They're all dead, <laughs> you know, which is my slight concern with what we're going to do today, which is the downloadable content because Booker and Elizabeth are, are no longer with us. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. If, are they in burial at sea or is it somebody else? We're going to find out. I am not doing Clash in the Clouds because from what I uh, briefly looked into, Clash in the Clouds is more of a... Uh, gameplay sort of style test of your skills and that's that's not for me i'm a story girl so we're just gonna do burial at sea episode one and two and, and see where that takes us so so yeah let's get started <laughs> oh new game start a new game yes we'll stay on medium am i going back to rapture maybe because that would kind of make sense maybe the wit investigations Oh, is this like a prequel? We're closed. You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> What do you want? How about we start with a light? Um... 1958. So not a prequel, but still sounds like Booker. She sounds like Elizabeth. Was Pinkerton around in the 50s? I thought that was like... Not, but I'm, I mean like, what do I know? Oh, let's pick up money. Well, we'll get to lighting the lady's cigarettes in a minute. Do I have light cigarette? Hmm. Oh, I guess we need to go on this side. Here we go. It is Elizabeth. Hey, miss. Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get- Lost isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. But you do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. So we have plasmids, it looks like, instead of vigors. I did, I, I think I said it in my last video, I did, I feel like I use my vigors more than I use my plasmids in... In a, I use my vigors in Bioshock Infinite more than I use my plasmids in Bioshock 1 and 2. There's the full thought process. So, see what Elizabeth knows about Sally. Company Elizabeth to learn more. It looked like Little Sister, and then they're bringing up Fontaine, and that was Bioshock World. Are we underwater? Is that what's happening? 
We are. Sometimes we were. Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know, but I know someone who does. Follow me. Is this, I feel like I mentioned this when I was playing Bioshock 1 or 2 or possibly both, is that I always want to see these places before they get destroyed. There's a huge ass whale just swimming around and actually not running into everything. That seems so unlikely. Wow. So shiny. Attention closed by order of the council. Fontaines of Rapture. With a, a cornucopia of value. Okay. Oh, it's right, he did take all of Fontaine's stuff. Sander Cohen, why even ask? But why even ask and invite Sander Cohen into your home today? His greatest album yet. Or are we gonna see it when Rapture goes, goes bad? What's this girl to you? What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Okay. Oh, baby. Ma'am. Afternoon. Afternoon. Magnet under the coffers with Andrew Ryan. Couture because you're not one of them. Luxury you've earned. Plus. Time saving wonders. Fontaine's thugs rot in former department store. What do you want? An autograph? Are you supposed to be somebody? Hang on, I wanna. Oh, good. I still have a sprint. Controls are the same so far. Booker DeWitt, private investigator. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. The big, huge sea turtles? Oh my gosh, this is so, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Wait, what's los? Ain't you playing the ponies no more? You're too good for the boys at the track now. So are the ponies down here or are they from up there? Okay, bring in the new year at the Kashmir. Oh no, ring in the new year. Isn't that when they had that big explosion or something? What is the greatest find ever created? If we were all made from common clay, then Einstein would have remained a patent clerk. It's our responsibility to strive. Here, here. Well, I love him for who he is, not for what he does for me. If you ask me, philosophy should stop at the bedroom door. Probably. probably. Where is Ryan babbling from? <laughs> uh, Ryan, <laughs> he's a big fish in an awful small pond, you ask me. Anything you say, pal. <laughs> if I was running things, I'd say. Why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? Missing. Uh, Aline, age eight, maybe? Let's see what Elizabeth knows about Sally, okay. I heard about your little friend. Such a shame. What little friend? Is that what they're talking about? He looks so sad. You look sad, Booker. Edward thinks the way to my heart is philosophical transcendence. He's brilliant. If I wanted brilliant, I'd go to bed with a book. You're just trapped by petite bourgeois notions of romance, aren't you? <laughs> Take it whatever way you will. But a girl wants what a girl wants. Oh look, it's the little sisters, or little wonders. Just a matter of time before Ryan's goons round up anybody talks bad about him. I mean, just look what happened to Frank Fontaine. Mm-hmm. 
The Little Wonders Educational Facility Emancipated Children Emancipated Ideas. Really? Little Wonders Educational Facility. What happened to these children? What are they? Where oh. have you been? Cabin in Arcadia? Little sisters. Atom factories. It's grotesque. Mm-hmm. And even more creepy when there's... Yeah. Hey, keep moving, buddy. But... Hmm. I, I feel like we've been here in Bioshock. Yeah. It's not weird at all, is it? Am I gonna see a big daddy wandering around? Is that why we came to Rapture? I could compromise in Red Hook. We're just men and women, Alan. You hold yourself to that standard, you'll never be happy. In what country is there a place for men like me? Men who refuse to say yes to the doubters and the parasites. Yes, yes, but even Andrew Ryan takes a vacation. Does he? I don't know. But I wonder if I'm going to see a big daddy wandering around. Come on, come on. We haven't got all day. <laughs> Little wonders, cashmere. Little wonders. Well, there's uh, Rosie the Riveter, right? What do they even look like under those suits? What you mean? Are they just some kind of machine? Well, that's cool. Holy crap. Wow. Well, I say you should have to prove you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Does more harm than good. Who would judge that? Mm -hmm. A system like that invites abuse? Mm -hmm. Having a benevolent dictatorship takes care of that. Uh, Benevolence isn't human nature. What is that, like an oxymoron? Is that what the word is? Like jumbo shrimp? Benevolent dictatorship? I don't think that's how that works. It's so cool to see a rapture not falling apart. We can totally go in here then. Get on with it. Do you have any idea how valuable my time is? It's not like they're going slow on purpose, sir. Ooh, audio log. Doing well by doing good. Sander Cohen, December the 10th, 1958, Market Street. Ryan's been good to me. Few are the patrons who truly understand the struggle of the artist. But even I was a little leery when he shuttered Fontaine's business and sent that bald buck to a grave deep in the briny. But when Ryan buried all of Fontaine's pals in that department store, someone had to find a home for all those freshly minted orphans. And if I turned a dollar or two in the process, you can hardly blame me for doing well by doing good. Hmm. There we go. Can I? Okay, sorry, Elizabeth. We have to backtrack because I didn't realize I could actually loot things and pick up stuff. The green light for, and I don't want to be around when it turns red. Oh, green good, red bad. Okay, let's 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 go through here. Be be somewhat quickly about this. I don't think there was anything else, but fades. The mind is eternal. Tell that to my grandfather. The man thinks he's got feathers and a beak. <laughs> Some people just aren't deserving of love. Deserves? Nobody deserves anything. It's warfare, my dear. Winner takes all. 
you didn't know that, then why the hell did you get in that bathysphere in the first place? Probably can't take your stuff. Oh, no, I'm not gonna drink any of that stuff. Is there anything in here to pick up? No. Can I go back here? I can. But it doesn't look like there's anything back here. Okay. Um, newspapers, Rapture, 1958, the year that was, an in depth look at the events that shaped our lives. Can I help you? No, I'm trying to get away from you. Only. I swear, it's the last time we're going to backtrack. Okay, I guess that's it. I can't go back into my office. Okay, Rapture Tribune. Hashmere. I feel like that's... They keep bringing it up, so I wonder if that's where we're going. Oh, what's this door? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any recordings. Not fox phones. Recordings again. All right, and this is where I just was, and I found that box phone. Okay. Everyone wants to cut the tallest flower up there. Do something exceptional. Those parasites resent it, condemn it, or worse yet, take credit for themselves. Nice finally consorting with the equally talented, eh? <laughs> Getting recognized properly? Being part of something bigger? Okay. Hi, Rosie. It's just so cool. Souvenirs. Close till Tuesday. Works for Ryan's security firm. I got it firsthand. Cooks a fella from the inside out. Is the damn thing a weapon or an oven? Works with mini rays or, or microwaves? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. All I know is it sounds dreadful. Close by order the council. Oh, Fontaine's place. The meat can go ahead and inherit the earth for all I care. I'm fine right here in Rapture. Art science industry. Andalusian arms. You know. Funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Well, let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. That's probably what they do do the most. Do it. The hostage sees you, he'll toss you out on your ass again. Okay, can I jump over and see if there's any nerve showing your face around here, pal? All right, well, apparently I need to leave. Just say the word, I'll show you what I mean. I missed the first half of the conversation. Oh, well. Hello, old bean. Hi. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. So Booker still has AD on his hand. Wonder what that's all about. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken, down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? Cop friend of mine. 
Sullivan says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <sighs> Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Hmm. Now, are they two people just called Booker and Elizabeth, or are they, like, somehow Booker and Elizabeth, even though they shouldn't be? Refreshment, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. Ooh, cool. It's interesting to see how they... Do I, I still don't probably have a quick save. It's interesting to see how the plasmids would be used in like a non end of rapture setting. <laughs> okay, which way? That way. So let's go over here. How am I going to work with my leg all busted up like this? Foreman says I should have been more careful. Something will turn up. Adversity breeds opportunity. That's what Ryan says. It's say that, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, I'm, I have a feeling I'm, I'm walking too far away. The marquee, the liquors and tobaccos. Oh, hi. Ah, Mr. DeWitt, back again. And so soon. Oh, he still drinks too much. Okay. Ooh, nice. Need to know theater, the greatest of Dr. Bridget Tenenbaum. Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? <laughs> the rumor monger asks, Why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. <laughs> I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, Rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a Rapture gal. Now you know. Now I know. She's a Rapture gal. And I'm just realizing I never finished all the sightseeing stuff in the base game. And I don't think I did all of the... I, I missed box bones, apparently. Let's play the... How much... Let's not play the slots. Because I will no doubt lose. Any... Any recordings? No. No. Nothing back there. Ladies. Rapture Records. Guten Tag, Herr Schmidt. Right. You want someone to listen to your worries? Buy a puppy. <laughs> Me? I got better things to do. I hope that wasn't your attempt at pillow talk, darling. Yeah. That was kind of mean. It's just so Mr. Big. DeWitt. I'll find my source inside of that club. Cohen? What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back out here then. Because I wanna poke around. Dr. Steinman told me he uses my picture to judge facial symmetry. <laughs> Darling, that line actually work on anyone before closing time. Ouch. Sexual intimacy is 
no different than any other commodity, friend. You sell soybeans, I sell companionship. Ugh, it's disgusting. I know. That's the Bible talking, pal. That's your mother talking. What does Ryan say? Petty morality? You can keep it. Yeah, but do these ladies get a say or an option or just, just asking? So Norris Inc. wrapped her records. So nice that you found us. You yet yeah, you don't seem too pleased about it. Soprano bassoon. Jessica Charlene. Huh. Can I go back? I can't go back. Well, I tried. Well, hello. There's a hole upstairs. <laughs> now, there was a straight shooter. One of us. I don't want to follow one of us. You imagine having a beer with Andrew Ryan? Probably some teetotaler. Hmm. Don't trust a man, don't drink, least from time to time. What does this say? Keeping you in the know, the plasma that saved my marriage. Fontaine's thugs rot in his own store. Splice maniac and little sister bloodbath. Constable seeks suspects. Ryan understands something fundamental about mankind. We want to be better than we are. That is what separates us from the jungle. Faison. Okay. It's a dress shop. Oh no, it's a fancy clothing store. Bonjour, signore. Hi. On the lookout for recordings and things. Unless it's just nice to kind of wander around. Rapture before it was destroyed. Ooh, recording! Who is this? Observation number 33, Yi Su Chong, October the 20th, 1958. Su Chong observed strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chung's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <laughs> but man name of Fink is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property. Two-way street. Okay, sure. What's the matter, Frank? It's this thinning hair, Jim. Every day there's less and less. You know the problem's not in your hair. Days. Her little girl's been missing for days. I'm a complete wreck if Trudy even gets a nosebleed. So many children. It can't all be coincidence. No, it can't. Help you. Fontaine no. got taken out by Ryan's goons for one reason, and one reason only. He built a better mousetrap. Oh, for God's sake, Armand, <laughs> you want to get us both rounded up? So you admit it that Ryan's rounding people up? It was a figure of speech. The pot calling the kettle black is a figure of speech. I keep my head low and I do my job. Like a good German. Now, is that a figure of speech? <laughs> Used to 
see him all the time at Eve's garden like he was for that show, but then he'd disappear with Jasmine Jolie. Well, that makes sense. What do you mean? If anyone knows anything about disappearing, it would be her. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh, another one. Taking the taint out of Fontaine. Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? No. And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? <laughs> At his free clinic, patients became test subjects, and his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. Yeah. Now I've received my daily propaganda, right? Right next to slot machines. Why are you wasting your time with that one? What are you trying to say? Uh, okay, so... Artist... ...pleasantness with Fontaine seems so far behind us. I hope all of his crowd are enjoying themselves, locked up forever. Gotta hand it to the old man. Locking up Fontaine's thugs in his own department store. That's poetic justice. I'm gonna have to go there, aren't I? And yeah, this was the... Okay, so it is all dead ends. Perfect. Where have you been, DeWitt? Expect me to drink alone? Yes, I do. I don't, I don't actually know who you are. All them orphanages and poorhouse did was to encourage the takers. Give a man a hand and he'll take an arm. Um, artist struggle. A gallery of the artist's struggle. <laughs> this person looks very Please thrilled with their job. Uh, it's quite a breakthrough. Really? What's your big breakthrough? I can't. I can't get over. Very eerie. No music. Music going on. You need something, friend? How is Ryan taking over Fontaine's business? Any different than, say, eminent domain? It's just the hand of government coming down on the individual. <laughs> Fontaine was a criminal. By whose standards? Ryan's? I prefer when the judge doesn't profit off the penalty. Oh no, sir, don't speak sense. I did do all this out here, right? Yes. The Great Chain guides all of our efforts. Even if we can't see it, it's there. Was it the great chain who took over Fontaine Futuristics? Sorry, lady, but I ain't by. Don't talk too loudly. They won't like it. Like, I can jump back here, though. Okay, we need to go there, so let's go but over to... Flaws and drawbacks other people have. You know, emotions. I'm just a more perfect machine, I guess. Think about what we could accomplish together, you and me. I propose a merger. 
That's so romantic. They're all gone. Ryan, he's the new Houdini. He's got him in a department store? In Fontaine's department store. If I wanted this, I might as well have stayed in Vladivostok. Fontaine's thugs were nothing more than a bunch of parasites. Ryan looks out for Rapture. <laughs> Ryan looks out for Ryan. And why not? It is the sweat of his brow. We're just the gnats boozing around, no? Kinda. What's this over here? Ooh. Ooh. Whatever that barber did to you, I hope he's retained a capable attorney. Ouch. Third rail. The watched clock. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Okay, hang on. The bouncer. I need to know. <laughs> oh, the big daddy. Are you in the know? The big daddy may look imposing, but he's a gentle giant. <laughs> Do you know all he does for Rapture? These metal jets are the hands that maintain Rapture, digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum. That's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Yeah. Now you know. Now we know. If she feels so strongly about how Fontaine's people were treated, she's more than welcome to hop a bathosphere to that department store and join them. What are y'all talking about? Watch the clock. I say, try it again. Maybe your taste buds have matured. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Booker. Where have you been hiding her? Well, you know. Oh. Hello. So sorry. What? The parasites want you to believe. Gray. There's no such thing as gray. There's good, there's bad, and nothing between the points. You got an issue with my food pen. You're welcome to put on an apron. I don't have an issue with your food, except that I can't eat it. Recording! The goddamn people, Roscoe Mullins, June the 4th, 1956, The Watched Clock. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. Huh. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, huh. is that it still has the people. Yeah. You just found an audio bug. Code enter. Cohen's access the supply closet. The owner of the watch clock diner hides his valuables in the nearby supply closet. Okay. Tip. I don't think these supermen know the meaning of the word. Excuse me, beep beep. I understand why Ryan wants to lock all of Fontaine's men up in that department store, but why on earth should we have to feed them? Isn't a prisoner just another parasite? What do you want to do, Irene? Hang them all? <laughs> you said it, not me. Well, you agreed with her. Okay, so I'm assuming locked door that we passed on the way in here is the num is what I need the code for. 
How do they work? Something about stem cells. What's a stem cell? Oh. What do they look like? Bridget Tenenbaum? It's the ones with the atom. Slugs. Ugh. I think this is the door. So... Two, zero... Seven... Oops. Nice! Look at that. Wow, a full dollar. Reminds us, we all make choices. But in the end, our choices make us. Oop, recording. Recording, please. There we go. What is this? Oh, it's Su Chung again. Offer of employment. October the 17th, 1958, High Street. When Ryan take over Fontaine Futuristics, seen all the terrible violence. Splicers are burning each other to bits. The lucky ones not killed, sent to department to store prison instead. Su Chung think he dead man too. But then... Ryan comes to Su Chang and says, Su Chang want to be buried in filthy store, or Su Chang want to make a good salary? Work huh. for Ryan. How much salary? asks Su Chang. This Ryan find very funny. Well, yeah, because if you didn't agree, he could just stick you in the department store. But interesting. Okay, I think I'm finally done. Oh no, I lied. Temporary. Just like Gulag. <laughs> Temporary. Until someone puts bullet in your head. I wouldn't disagree. The golden rule. I feel like all this stuff just lying out is so dangerous, my friend. Someone could just come take it. Then again, where are they going to escape to? <laughs> the ocean? All right, we're going to Bunny Town. They're doing yoga. <laughs> Contempt's too weak a word. I consider Cohen's work obscene. Just doing their their daily stretches, right? Private party, no entry without invitation. We'll see about that. That's what I was gonna say. The business of Rapture is business sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh. Business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected... No mask, no entry. Stuff shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. Says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. Obtain a mask from a local shop owner. It looks like there's three local stores that might have received invitations to Cohen's Club. You can choose your current objective from the objective screens. Press O to access it. So, search Golden Rule. And then Rapture Records and Artist Struggle. Okay. What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. 
Oh, she's got fishnet tights on. I just noticed that. Invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. She's really pretty with her 1950s makeup. Excuse me. Lady has some questions for you. <laughs> I'm interested in this piece. Are you gonna go, sir? Okay. Cohen sends those masks out in some kind of box. Andrew Ryan asks you a simple question. Are you a man or a slave? Damn. Must be somewhere else. Get some money, though. Anything else I can as well. I like how he was distracted and didn't actually move. All right, that's a bust. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going to Rapture Records, which is this way. Any luck? Nothing. Let's find another shop. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We go. Look around, please. You see that dish I walked in with? Well, you give her the star treatment, pal. It'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. What is this piece? It's by Trine, but of course, covered by Mr. Reinhardt. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it lovely? Gotta find that box. Oh, there it is. Nothing. Well, only one place left. He actually moved this time. They're actually having a conversation. The finest music touches us in places that we never knew existed. Can you turn it up? Elizabeth is trying to be very charming. Masculine. Oh, yes. One <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wonder. Elizabeth, you're laying it on real thick. I must go. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Nothing? No. Got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It probably won't be fruitless. But hey, I explored everything, so finding it was a whole lot easier. Why, hello. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Interesting, isn't it? Original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? I don't want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. <laughs> would you like me to tell you where is he hiding that box? Whoa. I would like so much to understand. We, we had a little too much to drink, it looks like. Someone intended to show us the struggle of the great man, condemned to breathe the swamp. <laughs> you see all uh -huh. that in that There you are, you little son of a bitch. Now, did you come Oh, what's this one? Oh, please, it's so beautiful. What does it mean? Oh. You've given me so much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. No, that's me. <laughs> Would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. 
or never. Good. We've located the mask. Third time's a charm. All right. It's best we head back to Cohen's. Let's go. Booker. Fine piece of work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that, you can thank my father. Oh, yeah? He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. Is that Booker or is it again? Like, you just happen to look like Elizabeth and have her name and I, that's what I'm going to go with right now. All right, let's enter the club. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. Does he now? So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children? Well, Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. This is a really, really weird room, I'm just saying. Another bunny. Dance, dance, move! And drill bunnies. Move, move, that's right, that's right. Be the con. Open yourselves to the music, to the spirit of the eternal. Oh, so no. he was... Why do you fail in this fashion? To embarrass me in front of my muse? My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stick! Stick! For God's sake! <gasps> oh my gosh! My muse shall not be mocked! Get them out of here. There shall be no failure on my canvas. <laughs> oh, there's no room in rapture anymore for the artist. So he was Looney Tunes before rapture fell apart. I need to go talk to him. Um, but I, I think I'm actually... No, let, let's poke around a little bit. Hi, Mr. Cohen. You were kind of crazy. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything worth snagging or listening to. But I, I am going to take the opportunity to pause here for today because I'm concerned that we're going to talk to Cohen and we could be going for a while. So we'll pause here and on Saturday talk to Cohen and as usual see what happens next. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Bioshock Infinite video.